giant men slam into each other and make big man pileups. It's a violent sport by nature. But this season, the level of violence has skyrocketed on the field, off the field, in the stands, in the parking lots, all around the game. In fact, it's been the deadliest football season in years. What the hell is going on with football, Americans? Three people were just stabbed outside the Sports Authority Stadium field in Denver, home to the Broncos. A man named Kyle Van Winkle was murdered after fighting with someone in the parking lot outside the Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas after the Chiefs played. A female fan of the University of Alabama's Crimson Tide shot and killed a mom of three at a game-watching party. And then there's just been some really weird football deaths this season, too, like the father of a high school player dying in the stands while his son scored the winning touchdown. And in the same game, a referee collapsed on the field and died and had to be brought back to life with a defibrillator. Another woman tried to kill herself at the Oakland Raiders stadium by jumping off the third deck there. A construction worker was killed at the Texas A&M football stadium. But it's not just the fans that are losing their lives this season either. More than a dozen high school players have died from head and neck injuries directly related to football this season. It's the most fatal season for high school football since 1986. Meanwhile, Michael Vick is back on the football field, making tons of money, even though he's a known convicted dog killer. And tons of girls on Twitter send their undying love to hottie former Patriot star Aaron Hernandez, even though he sits in jail accused of first degree murder. American football is super violent, and yet it's still super glorified here in the US. I think it's horrifying personally, but maybe what's going on with football makes sense. We glorify violence throughout all of our movies and games, and we're the country with more than 300 million guns and over 70 wars. Violence is embedded at the root of our culture. So maybe it's time to make football our national sport, since it fits right in there with the rest of our violent pastimes. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.